on you the get room. your point, but I also get a point. No, 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 no. You're not getting the point. I'm not. I'm gonna give you half because I don't know why you just included yourself in this. Hey guys, how are you doing today? I am back with another video, and this time, oh, this is Andrew, my husband. In case you don't know him. Hi. You sound weird. Why did, why did you say this if it's your first time? You love being on my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna see which one is smarter. I think he's smarter, to be honest. I'm gonna give him that. I think he is. <laughs> Do you think you're smarter? Like, be honest. I think I think calculating smartness is a very vague measure. I mean, how do you calculate someone's smartness? There's so many different levels. Okay, okay, you are book smarter. Sure. And what about me, you bitch? got the streak spread. <laughs> <laughs> I think in general you're smarter than me. I feel insulted. How come you didn't say, no, you're smart. Like you didn't even try to, you know, like create a debate. You just decided that you're smarter than me. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first of all, uh, I we have five categories. We have common sense, okay? We have general knowledge. IQ question, flags, and pop culture. I was putting the categories and I was like, okay, I need to put something that would just make me balance the score. Yeah. It's actually sad that it has to be pop culture for me. That's how well, empty my brain is. I'm getting old. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> We're gonna start with common sense. Common sense test that 88% oh of people can how do they know? Why 88? How do you know? You have five apples in a basket and five people to distribute them to. How can you give an apple to each person while still leaving one in the basket? <laughs> What's the point of this? It's common sense! Wow, I have a cute handwriting. Why are you writing so much? I'm gonna give myself this point because I feel like this is the right answer. What? <laughs> <laughs> because it's just too stupid. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, wh why did we do this? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Give the last apple in the basket. Yeah. What did you write? Why is it so long? I wrote, I'm one of the five people, so I could just keep my last apple with my basket. Same no! Thing. No, you have to give it to five other people. Why did you include yourself in this? You said there were five people. You didn't say there were other five people, no. But adding yourself... Essentially, it's the same thing. The last apple remains in the basket. Well, you the get your point, but I also get a point. No, 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 no. You're not getting the point. I'm, not, I'm gonna give you half, because I don't know why you just included yourself in this. Why did you go so far with this? I put, I put a lot of text. I wanted to describe it. Wrote it very poorly. <laughs> but yeah, the last apple was in the basket. Why did you... Also in my hand. <laughs> Just keep the last apple in the basket and hand the basket with the apple in it to the fifth person. The way didn't specify who the fifth person was. Why did you? The <laughs> picture, it looked like me in the picture. So, before I dyed my hair. Okay, there you, you have go. half a point. <laughs> Moving on. Two, listen carefully to these words. Imagine you're in an office building and everything around you is on fire. Just beyond the desk in front of you is a door, but plates are in front of it. How do you get out? What? <laughs> I, I'm writing the stupidest thing ever. So I wrote, since I'm imagining myself in the office, I'll just imagine myself out of the office. Wow, that's good. That's good. What did you write? I wrote, uh, use the window. <laughs> Didn't mention there were no windows. Or use the fire extinguisher because offices come with a fire extinguisher. Usually, I mean, <laughs> there's safety laws just like out of North America. I don't your, know. your answer is so <laughs> smart. Mine is just... It's not smart. <laughs> because, no, it's not smart. It's just like the normal thing. I think yours is probably like the right one though. So well, you gotta write. Stop imagining. <laughs> The beginning of the sentence was, imagine you're in an office building. So the scenario wasn't even real in the first place. <laughs> wow, on point, I knew it, on point. Why? <laughs> this was such a dumb answer. Three, how can a man go eight days without ever hitting the hay? What does it mean? What's sleeping. Hitting the hay is sleeping? Yeah, without going to bed. The same way you do. He sleeps at night. 
The same answer would apply conversely. If a man can go eight nights without sleep, it's probably because he slept during the day. Did but you he answer? At night. Uh, no, I did not answer. That's what matters to me. Four. Picture this. You live in a barn. While standing on the barn roof with one of your roosters, it lays an egg. In which direction does the egg roll? This is a dumb one. Okay, one, two, three, what did you say? The opposite direction the chicken is facing. I said roosters don't lay eggs. Is that a rooster? <laughs> yes. Fuck. <laughs> is it against the law for a man to marry his widow's sister? What did you say? I said he's dead. Yes, that's what I said too. What goes up and down over and over again, but never actually travels anywhere? Stairs. I wrote temperature. I don't know why I said stairs because I saw that thing that looks like an it's elevator. temperature. It looks like an elevator. Maybe they're just fucking with us with the, the images. The answer is stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but mine's good as well. I also get a point. You know what? Yes, I'll give. How you does the temperature not go up? The temperature goes up, it goes down, it doesn't go anywhere. It's definitely correct. I'll Oof. give you that point, but I am really shocked. I think that it counts for two points. I don't know why it. I got stairs. I got six out of ten. You got what? One, two, three, four. Oh, poor you. Four and a half. And this round's total is 4.5. I should be the one excited. How much did you get? Six. Okay. Oh. What was the launch date? Of Apollo 11. I'm going to say July because it's my birthday. So both of us have no clue, actually. We're just guessing it. <laughs> I think it's B. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Let's see. At what IQ score or above is a person classified as gifted? Yay! <laughs> I knew this. I, I googled this before. I did an IQ test and I, I found that uh, my IQ uh, was 120. I wanted to see if I was gifted, but I was not. What is... Scophobia. Scophobia. Siophobia. I'm almost sure that it's not B and C, so I'm just going with the. Uh, I'm going with the process of elimination. Yes. Gonna be shadows. Oh my God! Look at me! Look at me! Uh, you're at collecting me, zeros good. here. <laughs> Which time period is most recent? Well, I know it's not A. It's not Jurassic? No. Just because it's Triassic and like tri like there's a TR, so in my head it's like three. So maybe it's like the, the third one in this order. So it's the most recent. Triassic. Are you trying to do like me because you see that it's kind of working for me? Yeah. Wow. Should have won with C. So that we could have Yay! Like, <laughs> oh. We won! You're cheating. Um, in golf, what is the name of three strokes under par? I have no idea. I like the first one. It, it rhymes good. It's albatros. I like it in French. Les albatros. I went with the last one, C. I don't even understand the question, so let's just... <laughs> it's an albatross. What the fuck? What year did the Ford Model T begin production? What? I don't know, man. I put C. What did you put B? Uh, I like the year 1904. It looks nice. Cars are not that old. It's probably 1908 now. It is. <laughs> what the fuck? What? She has no clue. Oh, IQ questions. Womp womp. Finger is to hand as leaf to... As leaf is to... I said twig. I also said twig. No, you didn't. You said B, branch. I said branch. There is a twig between a leaf and a branch. It's a small branch. I win. You lose. Where is the number on the spot? Oh my god. Okay, on okay. the parking spot. Come on. We need to get it. S six. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> you see, you cheated. You cheated! You saw what he did there! The answer is 87! You cheated! You're a cheater! How? You, Why? No! You are a cheater! You, not, you, you saw me going like this 
And then you're like, wait a second, what is oh, she doing? Oh, why didn't you go like this to figure it out? You just like look at it and like figure it upside down. No. You gave it away to me. <laughs> exactly. Like, what, is it like, let me just read this properly. Instead of like saying that you're smart, I'm making you realize that you're smart. And, you know, reinforcing that belief system within yourself. Instead of just enforcing that upon you. I think you're just losing. No, it's part of the tactic. Okay. So the flags, sir. I'm good at, at, at flags. I think I'm I'm good at flags. I'm not gonna lie. It's almost the same, these ones. It's always yeah. like the, the cross pattern, just different colors. Oh. I do know this one. Zanzibar. No. I don't know this one. Really? Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. You're gonna laugh. Cyprus. You know why I know why this one is? Because sometimes when you go to sleep and then I'm just watching TV and then sometimes out of fucking nowhere, I'm like, you know what? Let me just look at the flags and remember the names. Why? Because I'm like, I don't know. Because you're like, hey, in, in two weeks, I'm gonna do this video against Andrew and like one of the categories is gonna be flags. No, because I'm like, you know what? I don't know what, when I'm gonna need this. I don't know. Who this I, is that moment. <laughs> I yes. This is this is why I do these things. You know what I mean? Prepping for life. Sometimes I'm like, what if I'm like walking down the street and then there's like the Jimmy Kimmel crew that just stops me and asks me for something. Don't and want then, to be like one of those and, ridiculous exactly. people. Exactly. And then they sound like fucking dumb and stupid. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting remember. for this moment all my life. Yeah, did I impress you? You did. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very clean flag. I don't know this one either. I do know this. And I will tell you why I know this. When I was memorizing the flags, I had a really hard time with this one. And then I remembered our friend George. Now I, every time I see this so flag- stuck like an image to it. Yes. This is my moment to shine. I've been waiting for this all my life. I am really happy. You're doing really good. I'm thank amazed. you, thank you. It's like that time when when we were playing with our friends, and then I I, I knew the flag of Barbados. Yeah, the the trident. And then everyone was like, "Why do you know the flag of Barbados?" This is what you do at night when I go and to bed. And I'm like, "Well, <laughs> wait, 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 I forgot the most important thing. What? My so. If you lose, like, what am I gaining for th from this? Like, wh what's the? Why are we playing? I'll do the dishes. Yes. Okay. Very I good. don't really like Disney movies. Which Kardashian? What? What do you mean? We can't be together. I'm very disappointed. I didn't. I, you've never said that before, and you decided to say it on camera. Like, you can't really say that. Okay. So what's the final tally? Twenty-seven and a half is a score to beat, ladies and gentlemen. Why did you get so excited you didn't even win? I got 39. Okay, she did great. You got Mail. 27. 0.5. We both did really good. I think it was a really nice challenge. I am so excited that you're doing the dishes today. <laughs> no one's gonna beat my wife. Can... <laughs> Well, I hope that you guys liked this video. Let me know how much you scored. Let me know if you got a better score than me. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next Friday. Bye. You're too excited. Wow.